there's really no need for you to be tired when you're going to the gym. So you don't need to get in there necessarily before like nine o'clock in the morning. Just go ahead and wake up at 10 a.m. and make your way into the gym by 11. Lately, I've been getting a ton of messages from people asking how I'm the most fit vlogger in the game. So today, I wanted to show you guys what it takes to be as fit as me. Nah! I'm Zach Hall, and welcome to my exciting vlog. Hitting the like and or subscribe button are both proven to stop world hunger. Today's episode is brought to you by me, because we don't have any sponsors, because nobody wants to sponsor this show. For all business inquiries, emails in the description. I don't have any friends, as was brought to attention by Hockey Steven 04. I'm recording! So, if you want to be my friend, please follow me on Instagram. My link's in the description below. A successful workout starts at home. Start off by thinking of the tightest shirt you own. Now go get it. Here it is. Bonus points if it's a high school sports team, especially if it's a wrestling or a football t-shirt. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Just go ahead and put that back and grab the cutoff that you've worn for the past 10 days to the gym because that'll work just fine. So before you leave, think about if you've done everything you've needed to do first. Like, have you double-checked your email? Have you called your mom back yet? Did you update your playlist? As this could save you a future headache of actually going to the gym. Okay, trust me on this. The last thing you want to be in the gym is dehydrated. So I would recommend bringing a gallon of water to the gym with you. If you don't have a gallon of water on hand, just find the largest container you have, fill it with water, and make sure to bring that with you. As fast as possible, try and find the biggest guy in the gym and shoot him with Duke Johnson. This is really the only way that you can for sure establish dominance when you're in the gym. Lead to him, and he usually jolts you with a swift left jab or hook. When he whips across a murderous right, curtain. And a problem I sometimes run into is that the weight rooms don't necessarily have enough weights for me. So if you run into this issue, if you're new at the gym, just remember you can always go to the front desk and ask to see if they have any more weights. The last thing you need to know before you step foot in the gym for the first time is that you don't need to clean any of the equipment off. Just don't do it at all. Leave that for somebody else. All right, here's a pro tip if you're brand new to working out. If you don't have a pair of Beats Studio headphones and they gotta be studios, make sure to head on over to your local Best Buy. Drop a couple hundred dollars on these. You wanna make sure you don't look like a rookie when you're going in the gym, uh, cause that's gonna be pretty important. You wanna look like you've been there before. All right, Kenzie, let's give you your five seconds of fame. Right there. That's all you get. Advertisers pay big money for that ad slot. If you have a longer than a 15 minute drive, I would recommend getting yourself pumped up with some five finger death punch so that when you get into the gym, you're literally ready to kill somebody. Vlog life. Okay, so we just pulled up to the gym and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our workout on. So we just pulled up to the gym and it's it's time to go. I don't know what to say. Just pulled up to the gym and it's time to, it's time to go, time to grind. Show them the muscles. Oh, they'll see the muscles. She said, she actually didn't say show the muscles, she said build the muscles. Just wanted to clear that up. I always walk into the gym like I'm Conor McGregor, but really that's optional. You don't have to do that. So first and foremost, when you come into the gym, the first thing you want to do is take a picture so Instagram actually knows you were there. And you should use hashtags like beast mode, rise and grind, beast, when you post it. Walking on the treadmill is always a great way to kill time when you're at the gym. It makes it look like you're doing something. If you're good, you can stretch this out for 15 minutes, but you're not training for the Olympics here. 10 minutes is fine. This is what peak performance looks like. Now that you just finished an intense run, it's a good idea to find a comfortable spot to sit down and check Instagram. You always wanna make sure 
you check Instagram every eight to 10 minutes, just in case you have any new notifications or any new messages. It's a great way to kill time. And it's gonna guarantee you're gonna leave sooner. Everybody, I've arrived. You always wanna make sure to let everybody in the gym know that you've arrived. When they put pictures of me up in here. Huh. And if you are new to the gym, you may not know this, um, and that's okay. But the only workouts you really should be doing are anything that can add a little bit of size to your arms. Any other workout is completely irrelevant. Next, you want to load up about 315 on a bench so you can just sit in front of it. That way when people walk by, they'll know that you definitely don't live at home with your parents and you really didn't peak in high school. Don't step back. What if you don't step back? What's the one thing I always tell you? And remember, if you go to the gym and you stay focused, you can achieve the same results. What? All I gotta say guys is, wow, what a workout. I am exhausted. Now you know how to be fit like me. So swing by your local gym and test some of these tips out for yourself. Share all of these wonderful tips that you learned in this video with someone who you think needs to improve their workout. Dubstep was a phase for teenagers. You're 41 years old now, James. It's time to stop. Every subscriber helps to get James to help he so desperately needs. So subscribe. I'm not saying I am Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's just heavily implied. And just like your high school online class, I want you to comment below what your biggest takeaway from this video was. Re-elect Donald Trump in 2020. What? This shouldn't be on here. This is an extremely low budget show with no political agenda whatsoever, so I'm, I'm, that shouldn't have been on there at all. This is literally just a single piece of paper. We couldn't even afford an entire notebook. I don't want your money. Bye, and have a nice day. Ma! I'm recording!